Well, many years ago, about when I was in like sixth or seventh grade, I started getting into drawing, and it started with like anthropomorphic characters, so like animal-like characters. And then from there, I made up my own character, and I named her Rika. And she looks similar to Rika looks now, but I developed this character over many, many years. And when I started getting into wearing costumes in general, I decided, hey, I should get a costume of my own character and join this group. There are a lot of people who have costumes of their own characters in these big fuzzy suits because it's a lot of fun. And when I have the suit on, it's like I'm a completely different person and I can be more outgoing, I can talk to people that I wouldn't normally talk to, I can pretty much just do whatever I want and I feel okay. Well, a lot of people will just give me really funny looks. They'll kind of glance over at me, not really wanting to look over. They'll, like, give me strange looks. They'll kind of do, like, this weird smile. Maybe sometimes they'll wave. Very rarely do they seem like, oh my gosh, I want to talk to this person. Sometimes people make, like, snarky comments at me. But usually, if I like try to engage in conversation with them, we have like a pretty civilized conversation instead of them just being all like, "Ooh, what are you?" So sometimes people who wouldn't normally talk to you talk to you, and sometimes people who would would go the other way. Yeah. Yeah. A so, lot of people just avoid me. <laughs> they're scared of you. Yes. Terrifying. So, so tell me, how do children respond to you? Children get really excited or they cry. <laughs> one or the other. It's one or the other. They'll either come up to me and like try to pet my nose or try to shake my paws. But sometimes they cower behind the adults and burst into tears. <laughs> and they don't know what to make of you. Yeah. yeah. How about uh, dogs? Dogs get incredible incredibly excited. They are so confused as to what I am and what this great big headed fuzzy thing is and they jump all over the place and they just they have no idea what's going on. Do you find it hard to get around or sit down or, or go into places? Do people ask you to leave? That kind of thing. Do you feel welcome? Well usually if you go into like a store people will ask you to remove the head. Um, Usually if I go into a restaurant, I'll take off the head anyway so that I can eat. Um, <laughs> yeah. People are mostly just confused <coughs> and will just give me funny looks. Sometimes they'll ask about it. But for the most part, people seem to be pretty cool as long as I'm not like causing any trouble or anything. I wouldn't go out by myself because I have a very limited field of vision and people tend to who like to mess with somebody who is in suit sometimes and I just don't want to get caught in a situation where I would be in trouble or my suit which is very expensive would be in trouble um, yeah and, so more for safety yeah yeah so where have you gone in the in the United States or where what cities I know Pittsburgh you've walked around but where else have you gone I've also walked around at my friend's college down in Baltimore, okay. um, and it wasn't a very nice day, so there weren't very many people out, but a lot of people would give me funny looks, like usual. Some, the only people that really like were kind of rude were construction workers who didn't even go to school. <laughs> They just kind of made a comment about what I was drinking or eating, and they were like, can I have some of that? Do you see this as kind of a performance? We have the, the pirate or the penguin or, you know, there's mascots. Do you see yourself as separate from that kind of thing? Yeah, because the mascots are more representing a team, but they don't really feel connected to the character that they're wearing, while as furries have usually have a very specific personal connection with the character that they're dressed up as. And it's more of a representation of themselves okay. rather than a team. So I see you have your head and you have your hands and you also have a feet and tail. Um, mm -hmm. Are you planning to have a whole full suit? Yeah. 
Well, it is really, really hot in the full suit. Um, usually if I'm trying to be more comfortable, like right now, and I'm not really trying to show it off, I usually just do the partial suit. Okay. But if I'm going to like a convention or if I'm meeting with people or something, I'll usually go full suit because the full suit is just more fun to move around in. Yeah, more free, more, you feel like you're completely the, you know, completely yeah. Rika rather than just partially. Yeah. Okay. So because when you are, people can tell what gender you are and they know more about you, that kind of thing. Yeah. Okay. Tell me, what's the, the most uh, strange experience or experience being kind of discriminated against, that kind of thing that you've had? Well, one time my friends and I were out at Anthrocon and we were at the subway and I was standing outside of the subway because it was really hot in there and I was swarmed by all of these ladies in dresses because they were at the restaurant next door and it was a little bit crazy because they were like pulling on me they were like getting me to get into a picture with them and stuff and then my friends came out and like saved me and then a little bit later this um like really drunk guy came out and started making like snarky comments at me and was like, can we get a picture and stuff like that. And then um, a few weeks ago when I was at another convention, um, this one guy, <laughs> I had my head off and this one guy was telling me that I was a foxy lady. So that was a little strange. <laughs> <laughs> So it sounds like you, it just can be overwhelming because people just want to be seen with you. They want to know more about you, and mm -hmm. you can feel kind of trapped. Any uh, other last comments or anything that you want to share? Um, be yourself. It's a lot of fun. Well... For it, for it, for <laughs> okay, okay, let me try this again.